if there is a word that can unite the two readings that you have just heard an excerpt from the letter Paul to the Christians of Corinth and in the gospel Jesus teaches his disciples how to pray and what to pray for if there's a word it is consistency or consistent comes from two latin words con with sto to stand to abide so a person who is consistent is one who walks his talk so that's what paul tries to communicate to the corinthians in the first reading he was very consistent in his preaching though he was undermined by some false teachers who came to address the christians of corinth and yet in his own way he said you know i just share with you i hand over to you what i have received the identity of jesus as lord and savior of the world so in the gospel again jesus teaches us reminds us that in prayer we have to be consistent he tells us in praying do not babble like the pagans what does the word babble mean it means when you say the words they are quite distant far from your heart so yes you say words but in prayer words have to overflow from the heart of a believer who humbles himself before god so some people think but by multiplying words they can get the attention of god you do not have to babble or to use many words we remember to people to persons came went to the temple to pray a publican and a pharisee and yet the pharisee was just uh, praying to himself lord i thank you that i'm not like other people you know i give tithes i give offering to the temple i fast i'm not like this man you know who is also praying and yet the publican what was his prayer very simple be merciful O lord be merciful O lord for i'm a sinner saint francis teaches us in prayer we just have to be aware of god's presence and then he says use words if necessary so we can see that prayer is connecting with god having this intimate relationship with god and in the gospel the prayer is simple and yet it can be complicated simple because the first part is about asking god that his kingdom may come acknowledging god as our father and this we have to be aware that in journeying with jesus as jesus taught us god is a father we have to learn that it's not easy to learn to see god as a father some people see god like a very strict judge once you commit mistake he will punish you what is our image of god jesus keeps telling us when you pray say our father and in saying our father you include other people in your prayer you recognize others as your own brothers and sisters you do not say my father i need this please give me that's not prayer the lord teaches us that in praying we pray with others we pray for others and then the second part is we express as after expressing our total dependence on him in god we live we move we exist 
we are given the power to love, to believe, and to be faithful. The second is we express our daily needs. Give us this day our daily bread. And we just don't talk about the daily bread that we eat on the table when we have breakfast or, you know, during break time. We should also think about the daily bread, the living bread that God gives us every day when we come to Mass. It's the food that we need to have eternal life. Jesus made that explicitly. Whoever eats my flesh will have eternal life. Then, of course, there is that petition, please forgive our trespasses. And yet, as Jesus tells us, you should also forgive, for you are forgiven. If you ask forgiveness seven times, the Lord will forgive you seven times, no condition. But if you cannot forgive those who hurt you, then we have a problem. That is not true humility. That is not uh, uh, since uh, we are not sincere in asking forgiveness for in asking forgiveness we are aware that we too have to forgive so this prayer the our father should be like a mantra what is a mantra something that you keep repeating and in the process of repeating it gets internalized and then in the process of internalizing it, hopefully we come to that point where everything is done according to God's will. Everything is done according to His ways, not according to man's ways. So let's ask the Lord for perseverance in praying the Lord's Prayer each day. Not just the words, but the spirit of the Lord's Prayer. Continuing conversion of the heart so that we may have the heart of God that is loving and forgiving. Amen.